Good morning, everybody. Hope that you all are having a blessed day. Now, I'm going to make this video very short, sweet, and simple and tell you the difference between a fungus and heat stress. Do you all remember these lines right here from last year? So, these lines had funguses in it. You had a fungus somewhere around here. I know you definitely had a fungus over here somewhere. I think there was some over there and some over there in that area. When you are dealing with brown patch, dollar spot, Pythium blight, you're going to see some mycelium on the grass blades, which is going to look like some sticky cotton. That right there is a telltale sign that you are dealing with a fungus. If you don't catch it in the morning time, the thing that you are going to be looking at is some lesions on the blade, which means there's going to be some spots that are going to be on the grass blades. So it doesn't matter if it is brown patch, if it is melting out, if it is leaf spot, you're going to see some type of spots that are on the grass blades that is going to be a dead giveaway that you are dealing with a fungus. And this is just some of those fungus. It's not all of them. Now, let me show you heat stress. So you see this little spot right here. You got a drain right here in the middle of the yard. The grass is brown around this. So when you're dealing with heat stress, the grass blade will needle up, which means it will turn really, really thin, really thin, okay? So this is some heat stress, but when you come over here, grass blade is super thick, right? No heat stress, heat stress. All of this grass is stressed out. So if your air temperatures throughout the day is in the 90s, it's just hot all day, right? But at nighttime, the air temperatures may drop into the 70s or drop into the 60s. That does not mean that your concrete, that your asphalt is going to drop into the 60s. That is going to hold temperature as well. So normally your edges it's the first thing that's probably going to check out when you're dealing with heat stress. Sometimes heat stress can be in your lawn too as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be around your sidewalks and around your driveway and near the street area. But majority of the times, those areas are going to be the ones that check out first because those areas are next to your concrete or you may have some areas that may be up against your house that heat coming off of your house that there can also cause some heat stress to your grass but this right here is a prime example of heat stress and let me show you again here is another example of some heat stress this is up against the house this is going to hold heat it's bothering this area right here so how do you find out you look at the grass blades you see how they're very thin how they're needling up it's brown this is heat stress. You don't have any lesions on the blades, no spots, no brown spots, no circles, no yellowing on the blades or anything. It's just turning very thin. So this is heat stress all around this area and all around here. Heat stress. It's not heat stress over there. It's not heat stress going around this concrete little patio. It's not heat stress going around that. It's not heat stress going around that. There isn't any heat stress on this side, but there's heat stress right here. So the main thing that I want you all to be able to get out of this video is learning the difference between heat stress and a fungus because you will not believe how many times I've actually ran into a person and their grass is brown and they're telling me, oh, my grass is brown because it's hot outside, which that may be true. But then again, you may have a fungus in your lawn. So let's recap really quick. You know you have a fungus in your lawn if that grass blade has any type of imperfections on it. Imperfections meaning there are some spots on it, it's turning yellow. When you get up in the morning, there's some mycelium on it. 
is shaped in a circle. There has to be something going wrong with that grass blade that is going to be a telltale sign that you have a fungus. Now, depending on what type of fungus it is, you could be able to fertilize that fungus out. Like for example, dollar spot. If you do have dollar spot, you can give your lawn some fertilizer and that dollar spot will grow out. But if you have another fungus like brown patch or melting out or pythium blight, you definitely don't want to be fertilizing your lawn if you do have any of those diseases in your lawn. Now I have a slew of videos that you can be able to peruse through that is talking about certain type of diseases. Make sure you go through and check those videos out in your spare time if you can. Now when you're dealing with heat stress, you already know. Sometimes that heat stress may be around the street area where your grass meet. It may be around a concrete area. It may be around your driveway or your house because those areas are going to hold heat longer than others. But that does not mean that heat stress is going to be mainly around those areas. So there's two things that you can and can't do when we are talking about heat stress. Number one is you don't want to yo-yo it. What I mean by yo-yoing it, taking it out of heat stress and then letting it go back into heat stress. For example, if you have heat stress, you give it a bunch of water, it bounces back, your grass greens back up, then you don't water it for another month and it goes back into heat stress. You don't want to yo-yo it like that, taking it out and letting it go back, taking it out and letting it go back, either do one or the other. It's either take it out and keep it out of heat stress or just let it go through the whole summer stressed out and then once temperatures cool back down, then you can be able to fertilize your lawn, give it some water and it will bounce back. Heat stress can also be throughout your whole entire lawn as well. And heat stress is not going to come in any circular type of patterns like how brown patch may. The other thing is if your lawn is stressed out, you don't want to give it any nitrogen. Don't be out there trying to feed your lawn until it turns green because that's not going to do anything but make it worse. So if it's stressed out, leave it alone. Don't give it no nitrogen because nitrogen is not going to make it green. Water's going to make it green, but nitrogen is going to make it even worse. So I hope that this information has helped you all. You all take this information, you apply it to your lawn, and don't just apply it to your lawn. Help your neighbors out. Help your friends, help your family, because now since you've downloaded this information, you know the difference between heat stress and lawn fungus. So when you go over to someone's house, and they're saying, oh, my grass is brown because it's hot outside. And you see something's wrong with those grass blades. Go ahead and educate them and tell them Polo sent you.